Okay, well, let's take these one at a time. So you first <laughs> talked about triggering laws. Can you give me some examples of triggering laws, laws that might sort of activate the, the mediation process, as it were? Mm. So let me give you a couple of real examples from different countries. In Hong Kong, for example, there is Practice Direction 31. And Practice Direction 31 is a court practice direction which very basically says um, uh, in, uh, in most civil matters uh, you have to uh, try mediation before you'll get a trial date. Right? Um, and that's, that's an example of a triggering law. So you don't get to court unless you've mediated first, and you have to produce a mediation certificate to show that you've tried mediation at least. Okay. Um, in other countries you'll find in Australia, for example, there's a piece of legislation on a federal level that does something similar, that requires people to, to make a genuine effort to resolve the dispute through mediation or negotiation. Okay. Uh, you'll also find triggering laws in the form of mediation clauses, right? So that would be a, an example of soft law. Right. So if you've got a commercial contract um, and, uh, and parties have a dispute resolution clause, that requires them to go to mediation um, before they would go to arbitration or court, for example. Um, that clause, if appropriately um, drafted, would be recognised by, by the courts if it ever got that far and would trigger the mediation process. They're just some examples.